Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I'm Yuvi Prajesh again. In this video today, I would like to talk about the new Hyundai Alcazar 7-seat SUV, which is essentially a 7-seat extended version of the already best-selling Creta SUV. Hyundai India has now revealed a few details regarding the engine and specifications of this new Hyundai Alcazar SUV, and a special thanks to Mr. Bani Punia for sharing these details online. Just like the Tata Harrier and the Safari, the new Alcazar will carry forward a lot of design elements from the existing Hyundai Creta. Both these cars are expected to share the very same headlamps, while the front grille on the Alcazar will receive a different treatment so as to differentiate from the 5-seat Creta. The Alcazar will also receive different design 18-inch alloy wheels, while the body shell itself is likely to remain the same as the Creta till the B-pillar. It is after the C-pillar that this new Alcazar will be receiving an elongated overhang due to the extension of the body to integrate the extra row of seats. It is also likely that the new Alcazar will receive a wraparound effect for the rear windshield with a glossy black treatment for the D pillar. The rear fascia, however, is expected to be completely different to that seen on the Hyundai Creta and will receive larger tail lamps with the number plate housing right at the center of the tailgate. This new 7 seat Hyundai Creta will also receive longer roof rails along with the shark fin antenna and also the massive panoramic sunroof seen on the existing Creta. Talking about the interior, the new Alcazar will carry forward the exact same dashboard design and interior layout as seen on the Hyundai Creta along with all the features including ventilated seats, a fully digital instrument cluster, and the massive 10.25-inch touchscreen infotainment system. Apart from all this, the new Alcazar will also come with a six-seat option with captain chairs for the second row, which will be getting a unique-looking center console running right between the two second-row passengers, unlike any other six-seater in this category. Apart from the optional captain chairs for the second row, the Hyundai Alcazar is also likely to offer a seven-seat version with a bench seat for the second row. However, irrespective of the seating configuration, the second-row seats are expected to offer one-touch tumble-down function for easy ingress and egress into the third row. The third row seats, while not expected to be hugely spacious, will provide sufficient room for children while also providing proper adjustable headrests and 50-50 split folding function. The third row seats of the Hyundai Alcazar are also expected to receive some comfort features including a separate fan speed control for the AC, reclining function for the seat back, side armrests with cup holders and charging points. On the top spec variants, the new Hyundai Alcazar will get individual foldable trays along with a cup holder and mobile holder on the seat backs of the front seats for the second row passengers while features like 360-degree surround view camera and blind spot monitoring could be borrowed from the Kia Seltos. Standard safety features on the new Hyundai Alcazar could include all-wheel disc brakes, ABS with EBD, dual airbags, ISO fixed child seat mounts, ESP traction control with hill hold, remote keyless entry and reverse parking sensors. While the top spec variants of the new Alcazar could include six airbags, a 360-degree surround view camera and hill descent control. In terms of powertrain options, the new Hyundai Alcazar will get one petrol and one diesel engine option. The petrol engine will be a two-liter four-cylinder naturally aspirated unit producing 159 PS of maximum power. However, the diesel unit will be the very same 1.5-liter four-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine carried over from the Hyundai Creta and will produce the very same 115 PS of maximum power. Both these engine options will be mated to either a 6-speed manual transmission or a 6-speed automatic gearbox. Hyundai India also claims that the Alcazar Petrol will do the 0 to 100 km per hour dash in under 10 seconds and also that both the petrol and diesel engines have been tuned and optimized for best performance and efficiency. This new Hyundai Alcazar which is essentially a 7-seat version of the Hyundai Creta is expected to be launched this year with an expected pricing of rupees 1 lakh more than the Hyundai Kretas, making it a proper rival for the MG Hector Plus and the Mahindra XUV 5 Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this new 7-seat version of the Hyundai Creta. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you in another video. Thank you for watching.